I've known about this place. It's always been here. If you look deeper, listen closer, you'll find it's unlike any place you've been before. Where the arts thrive, history is revealed, and nature surrounds. A place that's genuine and always welcoming. And incredibly beautiful. secret is hard to keep. So now I'll tell you. Hamilton. It's happening here. community that I never thought that would be so generous in giving and accepting all at the same time. As an international student, I can feel that here like my home. I love Mohawk because they're student focused. I love Mohawk because everywhere I go in the hallway I always see a smiling face. They've given me so many opportunities both educationally and as a place to work. The many opportunities it's opened up for me. The teachers here are nice. I really love the food. The staff and faculty are really friendly. There's an immense amount of community and family vibe. students, it's not as difficult as you may think. Just get out there and make friends. Everyone is here for the same purpose. Take advantage of all of the services that Mohawk offers, whether it's the Campus Student Employment Program or the Learning Support Center or all the things that your one card offers you or whatever the NSA is able to give you, your gym membership, all of those sorts of things. Like, Take advantage of everything you can. All of my faculty were industry professionals and they were all amazing. Know where your shell is and break out of it. Get involved, get engaged, and be active in your college because it will make your experience that much better. Uh, get involved with as many activities as possible. I feel it's like family here, so that's why I like Mohawk. Welcome to Mohawk College. 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 Welcome to Mohawk College.
define ourselves by the things we do each day. That dull, dependable question, what do you do, which is supposed to sum us up. But what else are we, aside from the routines that make up the moments between waking and sleeping? The small moments that add up to become our lives. They're often overlooked, but we know deep down that small moments carry weight. Some heroes are born with incredible skills, but we, we earned our uniforms. We know what we want and we go for it. We may not have X-ray vision, but we can see grace in the everyday. That's the difference. We work every day to become heroes because greatness is in the doing. By treating every moment with diligence, we create our legacy. Like any hero, it's about applying those skills. It's about taking an extraordinary education and applying it to the ordinary, surpassing it. We know that all moments require disciplined dedication so that we can rise, like any hero, to the great moments the small ones have prepared us for. So we can meet the extraordinary, create the extraordinary, become extraordinary. And these moments, the great ones, and small ones that we ourselves define shape an extraordinary community wherever we are needed. With over 100 academic programs and 13 varsity teams, you no longer have to decide between school and sports. Mohawk College. Keep learning. Keep playing. This really is an exciting day for our students, faculty, and staff. Our new Centre for Healthcare Simulation is a welcome addition to our campus and opens up a new world of opportunities for students. Our Centre is going to be a very busy place. We have more than 2,000 students that use it every semester and from morning to night. Our new Centre is going to help our students become even better prepared for the placements and add even greater value to the work that you're trying to do. There's no question that simulation uh, is becoming a very critical adjunct in the overall learning experience of students and working uh, professionals. On behalf of uh, Kirsten and uh, Diane and Hamilton Health Sciences, uh, our sincerest uh, congratulations on the opening of this wonderful uh, center and our very, very best wishes for the future. I believe this approach of practical simulation along with classroom-based learning has really elevated my le level of education here at Mohawk College. And as a future grad of Mohawk College, I feel I will be leaving well-trained in my role as a CBT thanks to the faculty and the new lab simulation spaces.
Mohawk College students in the Health, Wellness and Fitness and Massage Therapy programs have the unique opportunity to come to the Anatomy Lab here at McMaster University, where they get real life experience working with the human body. The first time it can be quite overwhelming. Um, it can, it's a pretty high anxiety area. Like the first time I ever came into a wet lab like this, I was anxious, I was nervous. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world seeing cadaveric specimen. Um, but pretty quickly, once kids kind of start to get their hands in things and, and really kind of get a sense of what it is, they really, you kind of lose that anxiousness and you just kind of get excited about it and you realize that it's a great tool to actually learn anatomy from. Um, a lot of students you talk to, if they've studied only out of a textbook for most of their life and then they kind of come in here, it, it, you kind of, kind of see that moment where they, they get it. Um, a lot of things, especially the body itself, it's three-dimensional, you don't, it's not flat right like it is on a page right so it's a lot easier to kind of appreciate um, where things lie how things sit and kind of just the relationships between structures when you actually see it in 3d hands-on and the amount of time and effort needed to prepare a specimen for the lab can vary drastically this specimen right here wouldn't take too too long to make um, for someone who has some experience making it maybe about 15 20 hours we have some specimen in the lab that take well over 300 hours to produce. Um, just a tremendous amount of time, energy, and uh, resources, financial resources go into producing a lot of the specimen. So it's great that we have students coming through here. Even students that don't necessarily go to McMaster, like the Mohawk students, coming in the lab to actually see these specimen because it is a, a great learning experience. So the course that this opportunity is being offered through is called Human Anatomy. Uh, in a previous career, I actually had the opportunity to work with cadaveric specimens as well as participate in labs such as this and I knew firsthand that the ability to get in and have exposure to an opportunity like this teaches you mar far more than in one hour than I could do in an entire semester. So I thought if I could uh, somehow come up with an arrangement with the university and the college to allow the students to get down here, it would, it would be one of the highlights of their college career. To my knowledge, we're one of the only colleges that do provide this opportunity to the students. I don't want to to uh, paint that with a broad brush, I could be mistaken on that, but I have not heard of any other programs where this is an opportunity provided in the health wellness program. Because this is such a unique opportunity, Mohawk College hopes that the partnership continues in the future. Yeah, the hope is that um, every year in first semester, the students that take anatomy will be given this as an option. Um, certainly people can choose not to come. We're not <laughs> going to force someone to do something they're very uncomfortable with, but uh, it's an option that we're going to be including in the course moving forward. The students also found that this trip was extremely beneficial. I think actually it, it helps you learn being here because it's an experience in and of itself and there's an emotional component to it so that helps you internalize the information quite a bit better. Andrew is so knowledgeable though when he was going through the different parts of the cadavers that was actually really informative too. Um, it was such a great experience like I was looking forward to this like the whole semester and like I got here and I was like so excited to just see everything. I think I actually understood more from here than like in the textbooks. I was pumped. Still was. Couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> Before a specimen becomes part of the lab, there is a long process that it has to go through. So essentially what's going to happen is uh, beforehand the family or the person has indicated that they would like to have the body donated and so it's transported here and then we act much like a funeral home. We take the body in and uh, then we're going to embalm it uh, and so that essentially involves putting in uh, formaldehyde and water and that sort of thing to fix the tissue. And once the tissue has been fixed, then we have really no problem uh, dealing with it after that. We'll leave it for a few months and it sort of hardens up. And then we can use it to produce materials, prosections. And for people who have donated their bodies to science and research, how are they recognized? How are they honored? So every year uh, we do have a service of gratitude. There's really two parts. Um, initially, of course, they come in and we sign all the paperwork and we thank them then and, and let them know what we're doing. And then afterwards, uh, usually in the spring, uh, we have a service of gratitude. And so then we invite all the families and their friends uh, to come. And then they get to meet to other donor families. And then the students get up and tell them why it was a significant gift that they received. And, and I also try my best to tell them how important it was that they donate to research and education here at McMaster. Reporting from OCAST, I'm Alex Smythe.
Mohawk College. It has a great reputation for um, having a good, good balance of studies but also practical experience and that's kind of the beauty of uh, schools like this is that you're not only learning theoretical and technical knowledge, you have the opportunity to test that out in the real world. So I was fortunate to actually have multiple placements. Um, I think there were six that were offered in addition to some in-service learnings. So we were able to uh, be buddied up with Big Brothers Big Sisters. That was kind of my first exposure to placement and then moving forward um, I was able to have six different placements within the hospital setting to kind of uh, progress um, my skills. So through Mohawk College, I actually did a placement at McMaster Children's Hospital and now 15 years later, I'm the senior technician there where I'm in a leadership role and helping to guide and supervise the technicians. I absolutely love my job. Um, I've been involved in many projects and implementations over the years and I think that it's a great opportunity for new staff to come in and know there's so much more to pharmacy other than um, dispensing drugs. There's other departments you can get involved in, there's automation coming down the pipeline and there's big, big projects ahead. So it's good to get your foot in the door now and experience all the change. My name is Amanda Fletcher and I graduated from Electrical Engineering Technician Power. I knew I wanted to do something hands-on. After researching a couple different colleges, Mohawk came up as the number one for skilled trades. My dad was an electrical engineer, my mom was a mechanical engineer. I always helped my dad around the house. so went to electrical engineering because that's what interested me and what I love doing. I knew I wanted to definitely do something technical and support and just anything that would keep me up with the ever-changing technology. So of course they're looking for technical experience and knowledge, but we find that industry is also very interested in what was called soft skills or transferable skills, uh, design projects and opportunity for students to demonstrate all of those skills. So some of our industry partners will see a skill set that they feel they need and at the end of the day I'm always happy to receive an email from one of our industry partners inviting uh, a, a list of students to submit their applications to uh, a personal or private email within the firm. The role of career advancement with the capstone is to really work them towards that end product of presenting to the industry judges um, because uh, a lot of students, I mean most people, uh, don't really like presenting to people. Because of the presentation I did at the end of my semester four, um, there was a panel of judges and Gary Electric had a representative on that panel of judges and I got an email from my instructor saying I had an opportunity to do an interview with Gary Electric. That led to my position here. I had a job before I graduated. I'm Tyson Tobias, and I graduated from the Business Analysis uh, Postgraduate Program at Mohawk. Mohawk College. It has a great reputation for um, having a good, good balance of studies but also practical experience and that's kind of the beauty of uh, schools like this is that you're not only learning theoretical and technical knowledge, you have the opportunity to test that out in the real world. My uh, placement was uh, doing requirements gathering across the entire organization so I got to speak to a lot of different managers, I got to speak to a lot of analysts, a lot of leaders in the organization. Um, so that helped me a lot because I just understood the culture
culture there. A major barrier to a lot of graduates, whether it's college, university, um, is that you don't get that opportunity to test your skills. So you're not quite sure about how you could actually apply your skills in the real world. And a huge part of that is confidence, right? You need to be confident to head into the job market and apply to different jobs and, you know, be able to say that I would like to apply to this job and I think that I'd be a good candidate to provide value for your organization. My career allows me the opportunity to meet a whole lot of different healthcare providers across the continuum of care. I get to learn from a lot of different leaders across, um, across Hamilton, and I always feel like I'm constantly learning and growing. That's kind of really the major basis for what my uh, career happiness is, is that if, if I'm constantly learning and being able to test my skills in a field I love, then I'm happy. Greetings from Mohawk College in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. My name is Ron McCurley. I'm the president of Mohawk College. On behalf of all of the faculty and staff, I'd like to personally welcome you to Mohawk International. Many students are interested in the career and getting a good job after graduation. Choosing the right school and the right program is a first step in developing the knowledge, skills, and expertise of a professional. We want you to be successful and to accomplish your educational, social, and professional goals. Most importantly, we'll help you develop a career plan to get a good job after graduation and enjoy a bright future. At Mohawk College, our focus is on student success, your success. The reason I chose Mohawk College was the overall international feel with all the student and staff. It provides a real sense of community. Mohawk provides a place for all students, no matter what their background, to grow and succeed. It is important to take advantage of all that this college offers and to get involved. And with such a supportive environment, it is easy to enjoy your experience at this college. I studied computer system technology, network engineering, and security analyst here at Mohawk College, and I just loved it. The faculty and staff provided me all the academic tools to not only graduate, but also achieve honors. After that, Mohawk even gave me the opportunity to continue my experience at the college through employment in the international department, where I support international students to come to Mohawk College in Canada. With the knowledge gained through your academic experience here, you will be given the opportunity to achieve success. I made the right choice coming to Mohawk College because the staff and faculty are focused on student success. Mohawk is equipped with top facilities, equipment, and modern technology to provide the ultimate learning environment. The people I've met and lifelong friendship gained have made my journey that much more rewarding. Mohawk has everything that you would want in a college and a college experience. Mohawk College has lots of opportunities to volunteer and gain professional experience. Thanks to Mohawk, I have had the opportunity to work as a volunteer with the 2015 Pan Am Games Committee Organizing. I'm also doing an internship when I can put on practice what I learned in the classroom. I really love Mohawk College. I'm very happy with the choice I made. And I would like to invite you to come because I think Mohawk College really cares about its students. Come to Mohawk to learn, to grow, and be part of our community and our family. Mohawk College has shaped me into who I am today. It made me understand the value of taking responsibility and contributing to the local community after getting my diploma. I feel confident with the skills that I have acquired, both academically and socially, and feel that Mohawk has prepared me for future success. I'd like to welcome you to our college. At Mohawk, we pride ourselves as being student-focused, and four years running, we've been ranked the highest in student satisfaction year over year in the Greater Toronto Hamilton area. I invite you to come to our website, learn about our 100 plus programs, and join one of the students from over 70 countries who come to our college every year. Thank you for considering Mohawk College. We hope to see you soon.